middleweight matchup between Robert Whitaker and Kelvin Gastelum. For my money, he's on the short list of UFC fighters, some of the best fighters to have never realized the UFC championship. Here is Kelvin Gastelum trying to continue his run here at 185 pounds. Yes, yeah, since Kelvin Gastelum has gone up to 185 and stopped depleting himself in those massive weight cuts down to 170, he's only gotten better. And that showed in the fight with Israel Adesanya when he had a chance to become UFC interim champion. He went five rounds, he went five rounds hard. He tried to accomplish the goal fell a little bit short, but that gave you confidence in knowing that with the heart and the spirit of Kelvin Gastelum and the skill, that if he's that close, with a few adjustments, he can find himself right back in that same spot. While the road to middleweight golden glory still goes through Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker is the man, and just don't call him Bobby Knuckles, you'll be okay. I just don't understand how he does not embrace this nickname. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect for Robert Whitaker. But he's one of those guys that doesn't jump off the page. He's one of those guys that you don't look at and go, oh my goodness, he's one of the most dangerous man, men in the world. But he is. He has unbelievable skill. He has a wrestling background, was able to stay up right against Yoel Romero, who's the world and Olympic silver medalist, was able to knock out Jacare Souza. This is a truly tremendous mixed martial artist, and since going up to 185, has truly found his groove. And the Reaper, as they call him, always says, the best place to break your hand is inside the octagon. He's done it before. He's not afraid to do it again. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Whitaker is one year his senior. He is three inches taller. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA, Kelvin Gastelum. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, five losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, Robert Whitaker! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things? Oh! And now Gastelum's in trouble! Oh, nice right hand. Boom! Big jab. Try to establish that jab. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. 
throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, big left hand there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Steve behind that Whitaker jab tonight. Robert Whitaker is a great striker. I mean, he has it all when it comes to the stand-up in the boxing, and that is on full display right now. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Very nice leg kick there by Whitaker. Gastelum gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Robert Whitting. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh, big right hand, yes. Nice defense there, huge block. There's no tell on that leg kick. Just over two minutes to go. Real nice body. Gastelum gets caught with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Dig and kick. Excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back into space where he's having the most success. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches, and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. Big kick. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Gastelum's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Back and forth we go here. Right on the button. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Whitaker. Takedown defense holds up. All right, here, final seconds of round one. And they separate. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making.
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Robert Whitaker. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. That's a big strike right there. Oh, how about the Whitaker right hand? See, this is why when you sit down to play EA Sports Every UFC time. 4, John, no question. <laughs> no question. I know how to I try to make it go random, but I randomly select the Reaper Robert Whitaker. Oh, nice. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. By this young man. Straight punch lands. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow stuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture perfect technique. Almost like a Tybo class or something like that. That one appeared to stun him. Oh! Back to the feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, blocks the shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your point. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Great time. All right, so a near perfect leg. entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence aims, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns and tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Ooh, what a punch. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Connects with a right. Ten seconds to go in the round. I see the power time now. 
right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. The numbers here. Stat punch counters have been busy tonight. 112 total strikes now landed for Robert Wood. Well, I've got to think, DC, anytime you're above 50% on the connection rate, you got to feel good. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm. Push it across and secure it with his head. I'll try it, I'll try it. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. And he's out. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Nice hammer fist. Gastelum's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Robert Whittaker. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him... Oh! Go finish this fight. Single collar tie now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh! Distance gets the single collar tie. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And there comes the separation now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. to establish that jab once again. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. 
Good punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. The flush right hand is true. Hook to the head there by Robert Whittaker. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, no doubt an absolutely brutal elbow to stop his opponent here tonight. And this has clearly been a weapon that has been a part of his arsenal in his UFC career. But it takes a lot of repetitions in the gym and a lot of confidence to willingly throw elbows the way he did there. So a lot of force in a short distance. And when you execute it like that, it is absolutely devastating. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At four minutes, 47 seconds of round number three, declaring the winner by knockout, Robert Whitaker. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.